Now see a average power associated with inductor only that is the pure inductor. So, suppose you have taken inductor like this and you have applied AC source. So, now you have to calculate here the average power associated with this inductor. We know it E is equal to E naught sin omega t. So, EMF applied at any instant is this much that is the potential difference also and we have calculated I is equal to I naught sin omega t minus pi upon 2. So, current lags behind in inductor. So, we can write here in this case also I is equal to minus I naught cos omega t. Now, we can write in this case here I naught cos omega t, we can calculate power instantaneous power. So, power is equal to E into I. So, power is equal to we can write power consumed at an instant that is here E naught sin omega t I naught cos omega t. So, now we can write power is equal to dW by dt. So, we can calculate the total work done. So, here dW upon dt is equal to E naught I naught upon 2. This will be here I have multiplied by 2 and divided by 2 also. So, sin omega t cos omega t that will become here sin 2 omega t. Now, after writing this sin 2 omega t here we can integrate it. In this case we will be getting after integration dW is equal to E naught I naught upon 2 sin 2 omega t dt. So, when we integrate it to calculate total work done in one cycle, so we will be getting dW is equal to here E naught I naught by 2 sin 2 omega t dt 0 to t. So, now when you integrate it you will be getting here the total work done is 0 in this case because the average value of sin 2 omega t is 0. So, we can write W is equal to 0. So, average power consumed P A V is equal to we will be getting that is also here is a 0. So, W by T so that is 0. So, the average power is equal to here 0. So, power consumed by inductor is here 0. So, there is no power consumption in case of the pure inductor circuit.